Shalom, y'all. By Shamil Shai Um, I'm gonna be cooking a little nice dinner tonight. Here are all my seasonings and ingredients. This is my first time doing the TikTok, so y'all just bear with me, okay? <laughs> um, I'm gonna add some spring water. I normally cook with spring water, never tap. So, I'm gonna add that to this pressure cooker because this is where I'm going to put my lentils in quinoa. But right now, I'm putting in my chicken because I need to make chicken broth. The chicken broth is going to go with everything. Here are my seasonings to add to the chicken broth. Um, yeah, because I'm going to make my kale, my lentils, and um, my lentils and uh, quinoa with. <laughs> chopped everything up all my veggies my bell peppers and um, I'm using two cans of salmon I like to use saltine crackers that's old school so I'm crunch them up in a little bag <laughs> yeah so it's gonna remove the chicken and um, use the broth for everything so right now I'm just gonna clean my kale and I'm cleaning it with baking soda and tap water. I'm adding my lentils. I'm adding to the chicken broth. Um, and my uh, quinoa. And I'm gonna let that cook. And, um, and saffron, saffron. Saf I, I don't know, I just love the way saffron tastes. It's very subtle when I make it this way, but um, it's really good. So I'm using two eggs. I'm not sure if y'all saw that, but I'm using two eggs and my seven croquettes. I'm adding my crackers and some panko breadcrumbs. Not a lot, just, you know, just enough to thicken it up a little bit. Here's my seasonings in that. Pretty much the same thing I seasoned the chicken broth with I'm also seasoning my croquettes with and this is a wok I'm using a wok to make my kale just adding a little uh, olive oil and those same veggies this tricolor uh, bell pepper purple onion and celery I also added that to my um, salmon croquettes Add a little garlic. Garlic goes with everything, okay? <laughs> everything. Uh, garlic is, and then, oh, the secret is using the garlic juice, okay? And a teaspoon of uh, butter, salted butter. Just gonna add my kale and let that saute and kind of like cook down. Isn't that pretty? Look at those colors, the contrast of those colors, so pretty. And this is so healthy. Um, this is so healthy, but it tastes so good. It doesn't, I mean, it tastes healthy. And I'm, oh, listen, yeah, yeah. So this is where I'm gonna add the chicken broth as well. Cause like I said, I'm gonna incorporate the chicken broth in everything. So just a little bit of the chicken um, broth that I made, just enough to steam it. And what I'm doing here is adding some panko breadcrumbs to my chopping board because once I roll out the salmon croquettes and I'm gonna season it with uh, smoked sea salt and some unsalted herbs um, and just kind of like mix it in there. So once I roll them out, it'll have those flavors as well, but not overly seasoned, just right, like just right. And you see it all sticks together perfectly. You just kind of like reshape it a little bit if it. Um, 
I'm gonna get better at this TikTok thing, y'all. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing all of that, but you know what? I guess it adds character. So I'm going to go check on one, my kale, and I'm just setting my cast iron skillet. Well, it's not a skillet; it's a grill that you can add to your um, stove. And I was just like, you know, I don't want to soak or deep fry, you know, the salmon croquettes. So I'm just gonna use my cast iron um, grill. And I got this, if anybody wants it, you can find it at Costco or if you have a Sam's Club, I got it from Sam's Club. I think I spent like maybe 25 bucks and you flip it on the other side and you can use it as like a grill as well, so dope. So this is what it looks like. I made whipped lentils and quinoa. It's gonna turn out to be like somewhat of a mashed potato, but way better. And I added some evaporated milk, but you can also add um, heavy whipping cream if you want. I just didn't want it to be that heavy. So I used the evaporated milk, add some butter. It's already seasoned. And here's the part where I do the whipping. And um, I don't show you guys, but um, I do add some parmesan and mozzarella to that because i thought about it i was like you know i i wanted to i wanted to incorporate this so that's what you see that white oh this cheese you don't have to you can skip this you can skip that step um if you don't want cheese so i'm just going to make a sauce because the salmon croquettes and the whipped lentils and quinoa I was just experimenting y'all and it turned out so good I was so so surprised I kept he hearing how watching y'all shy say make lentils lentils and I was like how am I gonna make these lentils but um yeah so I'm just making my sauce right here I'm making a Cajun like a basic Cajun creamy Alfredo kind of sauce and it came out so good it came out so good um Yes, and I'll put everything in the description box what I used because I don't have time to try to break all that down. I spent in the beginning I showed um, all of the seasons that I used, so I'm just adding a little flour to that, making a roux, and I'm adding frozen um, onions and bell peppers because at this point right here I wasn't ready to add any water or any liquid to it, but the frozen um, veggies help kind of like slowly bring that roux to a thickness so that it doesn't burn the skillet and I'm just adding some more uh, well not some more but I'm adding the uh, the chicken broth to the roux and some of course <laughs> heavy whipping cream okay and some parmesan as well and that right there is smoked paprika and what I did was I put some of the um, lentils and quinoa in a bag, in a little Ziploc bag, and I cut the tip of it because I, I wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to give, I wanted to give more of a structured potato instead of just like kind of like plopping it on the plate. It was really creamy. The texture and everything was so creamy, light and fluffy. So good, y'all. And I'm just plating it right now. And I'm gonna top it with the sauce. Yeah. It was so good. Y'all can try it. I'm gonna put everything in, like I said, in the description box. And let me know if you do try it, you know? And let me know how it turned out for you. I'm just topping the sauce and everything, just garnishing it with some more smoked paprika and um, dried parsley flakes. And then I'm gonna add a little lemon wedge to complete the plate. It was so good, y'all. I was like, okay, all right. How about Shimmy Shy? I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm gonna try to do more videos once I get better with this TikTok. I'm gonna keep trying, okay? How about Shimmy Shy, Baraka Shalom. Thank you.